Okay, hi everybody. This is a hopefully a short, relatively short tutorial on how to make a character that can jump up and down. I want to talk about that. It's a little bit physics based, and there's a couple really uh, kind of key gotchas you got to be careful of. So let me show you what I've got so far. Um, I'm using the turtle module. This is Python 3, and what I've done is I've created a line, and I've called this line ground level. And I've got my character here, it's just a little green square. And this green square is going to jump when I press the spacebar. But of course, it's doing nothing right now. So let me go through the basics of the code. And I'm assuming that if you're watching this tutorial, you've seen some of my other tutorials, and you kind of know the basics of what I'm doing here. So I'm using the turtle module. And then I've set up my screen. I've given it a title. I've set a background color. And in this case, I set the dimensions of the screen. So 320 pixels high by 800 pixels wide. And this wind tracer, this actually shuts off screen updates. And then down here, the counterpart is wind update, and it updates it when I choose. So I've created a, a variable called ground level. Notice that it is capitalized. And what this means usually in coding is that this is a constant. It means during the course of the game, this number will not change. So for this particular program, that's the way it's going to be. So it's at the minus 40 y coordinates. Then I've created a turtle, and I've called it pen, and I'm going to use that to draw the ground. And so I started at negative 400, because remember, it's 800 pixels wide. So I started at negative 400, and then ground level. Put the pen down, drawn all the way over to positive 400, ground level. And I put the pen up, done. And then I have here a jumper, that's what I've called my character. Jumper is also a turtle. Speed zero does not mean the speed that it moves. This is the animation speed. It's just something you need to have for the turtle module. As I said before, it's a green square. And I use pen up because I don't want it to draw a trail. And this is some of the stuff that I've added to it. Okay, So I said it's got a width of 20, a height of 20. And the reason is that is the default size of a turtle in Python. If I change this to 30, it's not going to change the size. Okay, it's just it's just there for mathematical purposes. And then these two values are very, very important, dy and dx. dy is your speed up and down. So a positive value is up, a negative value is down. dx is your speed left and your speed right, even though I won't really be using it here. So a positive dx means it would move right, a negative dx is it would move left. And what I've added here is something called a state. So I'm basically saying that the jumper is ready. And that'll come in handy a little bit later. And then I want the jumper to go to negative 200 and then ground level plus half of its height. So if I don't have this, this is something you might find weird, but because it's the centered, so I don't want the jumper to be below the line, I want it to be on the line. So I have to add half of the height. So that's why I put that height equals 20 in there. So that is the starter code. I will put a link to this starter code. So if you want to follow along, you can just download that and then start following along. Uh, otherwise, you have to do a lot of pausing and, and reproducing this. And then I'll also put a link to the final code down below as well. So anyway, let us get started. So the things we need to think about. Uh, if a character is going to move, let, let's go ahead and make our character move a little bit. So. I'm going to make a new function. I'm going to call it jump, go figure. And in this method, I'm going to say jumper.dy equals, oh, let's try five, see what happens, OK? And then in here, what I need to do is I need to say, so I'm going to say, you know, move the jumper. So I'm going to do this, y equals jumper.ycore. Okay, notice there's parentheses here. So this gets me the current y coordinate of the jumper. Where is it? Okay, right at, when we start, it should be at the ground level. And then I'm going to say y plus equals jumper.dy. Okay, so jumper.dy. So it's going to add the jumper's dy to the y coordinate. And then what I have to do is jumper dot set y, not set x, to the new y value. Now, I could combine all three of these into one 
line. I have them in three lines so it's simple and clearer for beginners to understand what's going on. So I'm going to run this and nothing's going to happen and I'll explain why in a second. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press the space bar and I realize I didn't connect the space key to my function. So what I got to do is go win.listen. And again, you, if you've seen my other tutorials, you should know this. Win.onkeypress. Now, if you're using Python 2, it's on key. Python 3, on key press. Jump, comma. Notice, no parentheses here. Even though there's parentheses here, we don't put them here. And then the key that I'm using is space. Okay. I think on Python 2, it's a capital S, but in Python 3, it is a small s. Now I'm going to run it. And watch what happens when I push the spacebar. It flies up and off the screen, which is a good start, but not quite where we want to end up. So in the real world, we have to ask ourselves, what keeps us from flying into the sky? And hopefully the answer will come to you, and it is gravity. So we need to set gravity for our game. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put uh, a new value here, gravity. Notice I'm capitalizing it because gravity is not going to change. Gravity is pulling us down, so I'm going to make it minus. I'm going to say 0. Point, I don't know, we'll just 0 0.3, we'll pick 0 0.3 for now. And then I actually have to add that into here. Now here's the interesting thing. Gravity doesn't work on Y. It works on DY. So I'm going to say you know, gravity, just put gravity here so we know what this section does. And I'm going to say jumper.dy plus equals gravity. So what that's going to do is every time through our main game loop, gravity is going to reduce our dy. Okay, so let's run that and see what happens. Okay, you can see how it fell right down through the floor. Okay, because we have gravity. So let me try that again. I'm going to try and hit the spacebar real quick. Okay, so you can see, using the space bar, I can keep myself afloat. Now, if this was a Flappy Bird game, that would be all we need to do to make the game work. Okay, we could, we could make a Flappy Bird thing with that. But I'm thinking more like the Chrome Dinosaur game for this. So, what we need to add now is a way for it to stop when it hits the, the ground level. And so I'm going to put that down here. Now, don't put it first because it, it ends up not working. Um, the, the order of the code here is really kind of important. And uh, so, yeah, put it here. Ground level. Deal with the ground. We'll call it that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say if jumper.ycore, again, parentheses, is less than ground level. Okay. And just so you know, I'm using... The IDE I'm using is Genie or text editor, depending on what you want to call it. And it is free and open source. It's very cool. Check it out. It has some nice autocomplete features if you enable them. Plus jumper.height, again, like I talked about earlier, divided by two. So if I'm below the ground, I'm going to move myself back up to the ground. So I'm going to say jumper.setY, ground level. And then I'm going to set my dy to zero. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. Okay. okay, we got a couple problems, which I expected. That's okay. Okay, so instead of ground level, this should be ground level plus jumper dot height divided by two. So let's try that again. Okay, and now we have a jumping character. Now there's one little flaw with this. Now watch what happens here. I can keep flying up and off the screen, which is not really what we want to happen. Okay, it's kind of cool, but it's not what we want to happen in this particular game. So what we need to do here is we need to keep track of whether the jumper is jumping. Okay, so that's why I used this jump state. Now, there's other ways we could do this, but this I, I like to do it this way. So in here, what I want to say, I'm going to say if jumper.state 
equals ready. Then it can jump. So let's run that. So I'm going to push the spacebar, jumps. Okay. So you can see it didn't really do anything. So what we got to do down here, or here actually, I got to change the state. Jumper.state equals, uh, I'm going to call it jumping. Okay, so our jumper is going to have two states, ready and jumping. So if he's ready, jump, change the dy, and then do the jump. So I hit F function F5 again, run it. Okay, jumped. Now it's not jumping because the state is still jumping. So then down here when I hit the ground, I gotta do jumper.state equals ready. So this tells me that I can go ahead and jump again. Let's go ahead and run that. Jump, 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 jump around. That's basically it. Now, the thing with this program is that everybody's computer is going to run just a bit different at a different speed. Some of you are going to see some really high frame rates, some of you are going to see some lower frame rates. So I kind of played around with the numbers and I found that 12 and negative 0.8, so for gravity, negative 0.8 and dy12 for the jumper worked really, really well for what I want to do at least. So you can see, boom, jumps up, jumps up, and comes down. So you will have to play with the numbers so that it gets to about you know that point. It could be a little higher, it could be a little lower, whatever you want to do. But you can see here, we've got a nice little jumping character. And that's really all there is to it. Okay, so just to kind of do a quick review, um, I had to pick the ground level. And then, you know, I made a little turtle, jumper turtle character. I gave it a width and a height, uh, a DX and a DY. Even though I didn't really use DX or, or the width in this particular case, um, it, it will come in handy if you decide to expand this program. I set it to the location plus half of its height, set gravity to a constant. And again, my computer, negative 0 0.8 works really well. You might want something a little bit different. You might want to make your jumper, you know, give it, give your jumper a little bit stronger legs. It can even be like a power up type thing, depends, or a level, you know, based on the level of the game. You can kind of play around with that. I'll go back to 12. So then I gave it a state. So if it's ready, then it can jump. And I switched the state. And of course, I talked about the keyboard binding here. So in my loop, I need to adjust for gravity. I need to actually move the jumper. And then I need to check if the jumper has hit the ground. And if so, I need to reset the dy, uh, I need to reset the state, and I need to set it on the ground level. Okay, so let's go ahead and just one more time. And there we go. That is it. So yeah, so that's that's all I wanted to show you today. Again, I get this request a lot. It's 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 harder than it looks, actually. If this code is out of order, or if you don't quite have this set up correctly with the whole state thing. It just doesn't work as well as you would think, and your thing gets stuck, and it gets very frustrating. Trust me, I know. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe for updates, and uh, keep on coding. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Cheers.